So we know Mizuno make fantastic high quality irons and they've done for many, many years. But maybe the driver has never really matched up to the quality of the irons. Recent years we've seen some very good looking drivers from Mizuno and some decent performing ones, but have they actually bitten into that market share in that driver category? Possibly not. Introducing the new 2021 driver lineup from Mizuno, we've got the S. TX and the STZ. So two offerings, a little bit of difference between these two models. We're going to test it. We're going to see if this is the year for Mizuno drivers to make a mark in that driver category. Okay, so Mizuno's new drivers for 2021. We're gonna start off with the STZ. So the STZ is aimed at maybe that golf is looking for that little bit more low spin. It's a low spinning option, a uh, little bit more of a stable option. So Mizuno's are saying this is a very stable driver, one of their straightest hitting drivers they've ever sort of produced. A Little bit of technology, it looks, first impressions, when I took the head cover off, it does look very, very similar to what we've seen in the previous models, which was the ST190, ST200. In terms of that look, we've got that wave technology, that little um, sort of wavy section that's uh, cut into the sole just behind the club face. That's probably helping with that ball speed, maybe on those slight low hits, creating a little bit of flex there to keep that ball speed up. What we've got now is a little bit of a split carbon sole now. So we've got the carbon in the toe section and the heel section. So obviously that's creating more of a neutral weighting in the actual club head itself. Again, saving that weight, redistributing that into this back section. Again, increasing that MOI, MOI, the stability on those slight miss hits to try and create some straighter golf shots. So let's have a look at it into that plane position. And I'll tell you what, it's a great looking driver again. And I did say that with last year's ST range of the 190-200, they do make some great looking product, don't they, Mizuno? And that looks amazing. It's very different from what we've seen last year. Last year we saw a black gloss head and it sort of just faded into that carbon back section. Now we've got a, a more of a cleaner line between that polished black solid section and then into the carbon. So it is a little bit different, but I like it. It looks and oozes quite a bit of quality down by that golf ball. Black face, little Rumbird logo as your alignment aid, and then just subtly got that STZ in that heel section. It does look very, very good. I love that carbon at the back. Okay, so that was a good solid strike on that first hit. A little bit of that left to right shape on it. So it's created that little bit more of that spin, 3000, ball speed 159, so not the quickest on that first hit. Again, that's a good strike, and just that little bit left to right on that. But again, free, pretty good strike. Smash good at 147. Again, very similar spin, very similar distance. Identical, those first two shots. So both these heads are actually 10.5 degrees, which is a little bit more than what I would tend to sort of play with. Um, but I think just sat there, you know, obviously there's a little bit more loft than what I would sort of like to look at in terms of that club face, but it does sit very, very square. So it does sit very nicely behind that golf ball. We do have that adjustability through that neck sleeve, so we can move that loft up and down and also change the angle, make it a little bit more upright. Again, there's that little, little, tiny little left to right shape. So very consistent, those first three shots there, you can see very, very consistent, a little bit of that left to right shape, maybe that spins up a little bit high. Maybe I'm just influencing a little bit, I'm seeing a lot of loft on this club, so I'm just trying to feel like I'm covering that ball a little bit more to try and get that flight down subconsciously. But consistent wise, very good. It's a great sound, it's a great look behind the golf ball. So let's talk a little bit about the technology. I'm gonna to have to look at the info here because this is a bit of a mouthful. So what we saw in the previous ST190 in 200 models last year was this beta face. And we've, they've updated this now and they're calling it a SAT2041, which basically stands for super alloy titanium club face, okay? So we, we've got a mixture of metals in there and it basically is, is high strength, 8% more flexibility than the traditional 6-4 titanium face that we've seen before. So basically, as I've just said, a little bit more flexibility, hopefully a little bit more on that ball speed. 
Again, great strike. It's just seeing that left to right shape. So the, the, it is very repeatable there. Obviously there's a little bit of me in there, but again, just creating that little bit. So I'm not seeing that low spin there. I mean, again, the loft's not quite dialed in for me, I don't think. Again, great strike. Really good sound, really good feel off that club face. Flight looks okay. It's just not fizzing, is it? It's just not really getting out there. I mean, that was probably my best one I've hit there, to be honest, just control that spin. As I say, I've had a little bit of that left to right shape with that. Wasn't intentional, just seemed to get, get that little bit more biased. Okay, let's move into the STX, which is a little bit more of a draw bias golf club. Okay, so switching into the STX. So looking at that golf club, it looks very similar to what we've just looked at, especially in that playing position. Head size, maybe a touch more compact, looks to be a fraction deeper in that club face compared to what we've just tried. But this is actually a little bit more of a draw by its golf club. And when we start to look at the sole, we maybe see that a little bit more clearer. So we've got the carbon in that toe into that back section there, but then no carbon in that heel. So in that in the Z option, we saw the carbon in heel and toe. So keeping it quite neutral. Carbon in that toe, but nothing in the heel. So obviously that makes the toe lighter, puts more weight into the heel, creates a little bit more of a draw bias, doesn't it? And obviously that, then that weighted screw is now positioned a little bit more heel side as well. So clearly a little bit more weight in, into that heel se section. But again, when you put it down by the golf ball, it doesn't scream out that I'm a draw driver. You know, it doesn't sit closed. The head shaping's really, really good. It looks very similar to, as I say, what we've just hit with the, with the uh, Z. Okay, let's give this one a hit. Be interesting to see if this sort of just eliminates that left to right shape that I was just getting with this little bit more draw bias in it. Okay, well that's pulled up that left hand side. Quite a straight ball fly, but just literally pulled it. So that launch is a little bit lower. Again, this is a 10.5 head. I've not done anything with the neck sleeve, so I'm just playing this at 10.5. That's a good strike. Again, started a little bit on that left side, just a tiny bit of cut on it. Better strike than that first one for sure. Good spin around that two and a half mark. So that club head speed is just a little bit down on these shots. From what I've just been getting recently, you'll see a lot of my review videos of drivers getting her in around that sort of 111, 112 mark. We're just struggling to get this into double figures with this club head speed. And then the ball speed just isn't quite, quite there at the moment. Slightly low toe strike. It looks to flow quite nice. A little bit of that left to right shape again. Should spin a little bit more. There you go. There's that low strike. Just pops that spin up a touch, doesn't it? Again, it sounds great. It looks great. It's just, I don't know. It hasn't got that zip there. I think this is something we may have seen with Mizuno drivers in the past. They, they always look great. They always look really good quality. But how do they stack up against maybe the, the bigger brands in terms of that ball speed? I don't know, it's, they're just lacking, aren't they? Just that little bit of oomph, really. You post your comments down below. Just let me know if you've ever tried a Mizuno driver or ever even actually owned one. What are your feedbacks on it? What are your thoughts with the Mizuno drivers? That's a good strike. Again, sounds great, feels really solid. But there we go, that ball speed 157, it's just not, it's no zip there. I mean, that's solid. I bet that really good. Game around that. I was just struggling to get that ball speed into that 60s. Okay, so there we go. Two new drivers from Zuno, STZ, STX. Let's just go on and look at those numbers. Okay, so obviously looking at the dispersion numbers or rings, should I say, to start with. So with the Z, which is more the neutral weighting in that head position with this carbon split heel and toe, just see I got a little bit more of that fade bias there, which I don't mind to be honest. And it was fairly consistent there. Obviously got the straight one which just increased my circle a little bit. And then moving into the X, which is a little bit more of that draw bias, just maybe straightened up a tiny bit. Obviously I've just got that pulley one, which was a bit of a, a, a bad one for me, to be fair, but just straightened it up compared to the X. And then when we have a look at the numbers, you can see clubhead speed 108, uh, just short of 110 with the, with the X. I don't know whether that's a slightly lighter head in the X. It didn't feel it to me, but I've obviously got a little bit more clubhead speed on, on that particular one. Uh, but then look at the ball speed, 159. It's just, just wasn't giving me that fizz and I wasn't moving the club as quickly as I would normally do. I feel as good. I've just been filming this morning with other product and I was into that 111, 112 club head speed. So whether that's a confidence thing with a club, I don't know, but I'm just obviously not moving it as much there. So you can see uh, spin number 2651 with the X. 
a little bit higher spin with the Z, to be honest, which should be lower than what Mizuno was saying, but obviously I've hit that little left to right shape, which we know just tends to spin that ball up a little bit higher when you get that particular sort of shape. Okay, so there we go. Just, uh, I just feel a little bit, just, <laughs> what's the word? Just, just a little bit deflated there. I'm just, I'm just sort of expecting that little bit more. I thought, is this the one that's just gonna give me that little bit of spark there? It's just that little bit disappointing, to, I find. I mean, it's such a good looking product. It sounds great. It feels really solid, but just not giving me the numbers that I've seen in other products out there. So is Mizuno gonna make a real big dent in that driver category this year? I just, honestly, I don't think they will. Again, it's good product, you can't get away from the quality of it, but it just hasn't got that, that kick in there for me. So post comments down below. Let me know your thoughts on Mizuno Woods. Is that something you would put in your, in your bag? Again, there'd be a lot of loyal Mizuno fans out there who've played the irons. We know the irons are fantastic and that's where their real bread and butter of the whole business is, is around those irons. I think the drive is just trying to make that, that jump into it, but for me, it's just struggling that little bit. Okay, love to hear your thoughts as always. Post them down in the comment section down below. Appreciate you watching the video as always. Do share it around if you've liked it. Hit the thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon.